I'm Anthony Tomasini, Chief Classical Music Critic at the New York Times, and these are two of my favorite moments in all of music from two operas, one from Puccini's Torndot and one from Wagner's Siegfried. The opera that takes place in ancient Peking, and it's about this icy, man-hating princess, Torndot. And uh, there's a theme that's associated with her. It actually is a Chinese theme. That Puccini dug up somewhere. And it, it, it appears all the time. We hear it in different keys, the cho uh, children's chorus. As I said earlier. But it comes in many, many ways. But finally, in the last act, the very dramatic mo moment, she appears and we hear her in this key, but the whole orchestra blaring and trombones and brasses, and this, and this was uh, where it appears. And the whole orchestra. But then it's kind of like it, everything decrescendos, and you hear just soft instruments, strings, and it's completely differently harmonized, warm. Now, Puccini is kind of westernizing princess, man-hating princess Torrendot. It sounds like Debussy. sensual. It's like he's saying that the suitor, Prince Kalaf, who's come along, not only is Turandot going to fall for him, she already has. She may not know it, but Puccini knows it, and he's telling us that. It's just gorgeous, and every time I hear the orchestra play that, I just get, I melt, you know, still today, as many times as I've heard this piece. My second example from an opera is from Wagner's Siegfried, which is the third of the Ring operas. Now, in this moment, this is where Siegfried, uh, the young hero Siegfried, wakes up Brunhilde, who's been in this sleeping spell on top of the mountain sur surrounded by fire. And when she wakes up and they, and, uh, and they fall immediately in love, but at some point, Brunhilde looks over and she sees her horse, the one she used to ride around in the, as a Valkyrie might, maiden in the skies, and she, and she gets sort of internal for a moment. <laughs> Grana, my sacred horse or sacred horse. Now, what's going on there? Now, you must, m many of you will recognize. Now, that's the Ride of the Valkyries. That's Brunhilde's sort of signature tune. And but part of her punishment when Wotan puts her on this mountain uh, in this sleeping state is that she is going to lose her godhood when she wakes up. She looks over now, she sees her weapons, her breastplate, her spear, and same thing. There's the right of the Valkyries trying to get off the ground, but it can't. to me that this feisty, heroic theme is now kind of, it's, its godhood is gone. So this is one of my favorite moments, but I'd like to hear from you. Please send me your favorite moments. I'll respond to comments and I'm going to put together another video with some of your choices.